Hey guys, welcome to Kluji Tech Time. I'm David, and today we're talking about automated flight routines that are coming to the DJI Spark very soon via third-party apps. Thanks for sticking around, guys. Today we're talking about automated flight routines coming to the DJI Spark. So just about a week ago on July 3rd, DJI released a new SDK, that's a software developer kit for you guys that aren't geeks, version 4.6 that now allows the ability for developers to create waypoints, orbits, and other automated flight routines for the DJI Spark. Up until now, it, what, that capability was not built into the DJI Spark. Those capabilities were just recently added to the uh, Mavic Air just a little while ago, and they've been in the Mavic Pro and Phantoms and so on for quite some time. And that's how apps like Litchi and Flight Plan and several other third-party apps have had the ability to create waypoints that are automatic, that are uploaded to the aircraft, and then the aircraft can go autonomously, so it doesn't need to be connected to the remote control run a flight plan and that is something like waypoints and orbits and things like that. As I understand it, Litchi as of this recording has this capability built into Spark in their beta version. They're doing testing and I'm sure that the official version will be released very very soon. Now flight plan also put out an announcement that they are working on that as well and in the coming few days uh, they will be releasing an updated version of their app that gives you the ability to do the automated waypoints as well. So even though we don't have any indication that DJI is going to implement waypoints into DJI GO 4 for the Spark, we don't know that for sure, and they may surprise us and add that capability. So far, they haven't even added it for the Mavic Air. But so far, it looks like DJI is trying to stratify their product line by keeping waypoints and some of the other automated flight routines on their higher level drones, such as the Mavic Pro or the Phantom line of products, and are not uh, introducing it for some of their lower line products like the Mavic Air and the Spark. If you haven't ever used waypoints on another drone before, waypoints, in my opinion, are pretty cool. I like using them for a lot of the stuff that I do, a lot of the testing I do, a lot of the, the uh, things that I do. It's really nice to be able to do the same flight routine over and over uh, so that you can kind of refine the shot that you get for one thing, or it's also nice for me to be do, able to do testing so I can do repeated sequences if I'm testing out different ND filters or different things like that. Using waypoints is a great way for me to be able to do some of my testing. I'm super excited for these new automated routines to be coming to the Spark to unlike even more capabilities that I know are hidden within that drone. I think from a technical standpoint, there is a lot more that the Spark can do The DJI has not unleashed to this point. So I'm excited that they're enabling even more. Even if they aren't enabling it in their application, they're giving developers the ability to add those capabilities. So I'm excited about it. Anyways, I hope you guys found this content useful. If you guys like the stuff that we're putting out, make sure and hit that subscribe button down below so that you are make sure to know when we are putting out new content. Make sure and hit that little bell to hit notifications if you wanna be alerted immediately when I put out a new video. Also, make sure to check out my social media links down below. I got Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. A lot of times, these videos are a little bit delayed just because it takes a little bit of time to produce them, whereas on social media, I can get a message out immediately. So check, it, check those out down below in the description. Hope you guys are having a great day, and we will catch you on another one soon. Ciao.